told him so much, and his brothers told him, they said, David, don't you come down here and start your stuff. <laughs> Y'all read your Bible, because that little fellow was star stuff. They said, don't you come down here. He said, no, no, I'm fighting. I ain't scared. That boy got to talk so crazy, the king said, who is that talking about? He said, that's just his little boy. He said, sit it down here. He said, what you talking about? He said, man, y'all scared I fight. Because there was, was, was a there was a lion, and the Lord delivered the lion, and there was a bat, and the same God that did that. See, I got experience. Y'all can leave me alone. I got facts, faith, and experience. And I know what God can do. So then he said, let me in. So Saul, Saul just let us try to help him. And Saul armed David. So Saul gave his armor, his, his weapon, to David. Read. With his armor. And he put a helmet of brass upon his head. He a little bitty boy got on his big helmet. Read. Also he armed him with a coat of mail. And he got on this, he got on this coat of armor. This, this, and he got all this junk on. Read. And David buried his sword upon his armor. He had a sword helmet and all his mess on read. And he is saved to God. He said, hold up. <laughs> read. For he had not proved it. See, I can't fight with your stuff. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can't use the stuff you use to fight with. Because I don't know how it works, but I know what works for me. Woo. Good God from Zion. So he told me, he told me, I can't use this stuff. This is too heavy. I'm a little boy. I can't do nothing with it. Read. And David said unto Saul, what? I cannot go with thee. I can't go with this. For I have not proved I ain't ever tried this stuff before. Read. Really. And David put them off. He took it off. And he took his staff. You can't work in your own strength. You can't work in the strength of other folk. I can't live on your faith. I got to find out for myself what God can do. I can't shout on your testimony. I got to have my own. Y'all better leave me alone. Testimony. God had to bring me out. And once God brings you out, see, once you get victory, you get authority. That's why the enemy don't want you. I know why he wants you this service, because you're going to leave here with your weapon. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout glory. Let's give God a praise right now, right now. Seeing him on, 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 on Facebook, YouTube, back when Muhammad Ali was in his prime. He just leaned back in a corner and the man couldn't hit him. He just ate the gout, swing with everything he had, he just laid back. And talk about your mom. And the gout lit and you could not hit him. You, you see, you can't hit him. When you know. When you know what God can do for you, you can tell the devil, throw your best shot. Hey, because I know what God will do for me. And you know God. I ain't talking about what you read about. And I'm talking about when God done brought you out some stuff. When God done delivered you from some stuff. When you've been through some stuff that got on the other side. You can tell the devil, I ain't to walk. You may mess with somebody else, but I ain't to walk. I gotta move on, I gotta go, I gotta go. God, God just word good to me. Read what it says. What verse you at? I don't forgot where I was at. I'll be fine, sister. Where I gotta find myself, man. I forgot. Read. And he took his staff in his hand. He took the staff, the mark of a shepherd. And chose him five smooth stones out of the brook. When got some rocks out of the brook, stone. And put them in a shepherd's bag. He didn't get no bricks. He went and got something God made. Bricks is man made. Which, which he had. Ooh, even in a Wait a minute. Saul's armor was man made. That sword was man made. He went and got something that was God made. Get God from Zion. Read this book. Even in a script. Yeah. And his sling was in his hand. He went down there with him. Now, when you get a chance, the sling was in his hand. 
first thing. Now, when you read the Bible, you're going to find out he ran to fight the giant. He come running down the hill. He said, I'm coming to kill you. I'm coming to whoop you in the name of the Lord. You may have your sword, you may have your stuff, but you're going to die today. And you got to let the devil know you coming out of here. You coming out of my house now. You coming out of my child now. You coming out of my marriage now. You coming out of my You know this is the wrong one. Because I got the power of God in my life. Come on and tell God thank you. Somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the word of God gets better, y'all. It gets better. Thank you, Jesus. What am I talking about? God for God. Uh, and I heard, I heard, I heard mother say it. I heard her say it. I said, I just dropped my head when she said, I had my whole arm. I said, now she done got my message. Lord. <laughs> All right, read. Ephesians 6 and 13. Wherefore take unto you what? the whole armor of God. Now why would he say home? Because he don't want you to go out unprepared. Sometimes folk think that they're going to shop their way into something. That ain't the whole arm of God. God ain't moved by your shop. Sometimes folk feel like because they're going through they feel pitiful and oh Lord and, and they're crying and oh I just don't know what I'm going to do. You think that's no more God? No more God. God will look at you in your pit and just look at you. Huh? But when you begin to say, Lord, thy word. You say, you say what? You say, thy word have I hid it in my heart. That I might not sin against thee when you go to talk to God and word to him. He said, wait a minute, I gotta see. Hold up, hold up, angel. Hold up, y'all be quiet. Say what? The Bible said, what is man? That you are mindful of him. And the son of man, that you would visit him. You have made him a little lower than the angels. The angels is running around, amen, fine and covering their feet and covering their eyes, hollering, holy, holy, holy. But God said, hold up, y'all be quiet, man talking. Good God of mine. That's why Satan can't stand you. Because you got more favor with God than he do. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You better get out of my way when I got favor with God. Come on and tell God thank you. Therefore, take unto you the whole arm of God. What? That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. It's an evil day we live in. You parents better take your time and tell your children the truth. Praise God. They going to school getting bitch with all kinds of spirits. You better, you better qualify, amen, and clear your children. You need to let them talk to you. No, I, no, I can't talk to my kids about it. So you better talk to them about every subject you better. Because if you don't, the devil will. I told one comment, I said, ain't nothing you're going to go through. You can't come talk to daddy about anything. I'm your dad. I'm going to take you the truth. But when you're, you're a man and uh, you have to be sister, nothing. That's my daughter. That's my flesh and blood. She can look me in my face and say what she got to say. I want to hear it and I'm going to give her good advice and wise counsel. And you need to be able to talk to your children. Don't talk at them. Talk to them. Come on, tell God, thank you. You got to take time to raise your kids. You got to spend time with them. You got to talk to them. They talk crazy. Let them talk. Get out. Don't cut them off because you really cut them off when you need to hear something. That's in there. Because you can't fight what you can't see. Come on, y'all, y'all. Y'all better quiet. I must be up with somebody in toes in here. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, my God. If you can't shout hallelujah, just say ouch. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Glory. Mm. Yeah. Good verse that night, mother. I can't keep up. Chapter 13. All right, read it. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yes. And have it done all to stand. Have done all to stand. 
stand. Do everything you know how to do to stand. I don't care. If you're around folk that's talking crazy, cut them off. You get with some people that's talking spiritual talk and not natural talk. Read. Stand therefore. Yes. Having your loins girt about with truth. Having your loins girt about with truth. The loins represent the area of life. Because the Bible says that the patriarch Abraham, when he paid tithes to Melchizedek, that his descendants were still in his loins. That's the life. So you got to protect your life. Having your loins girded with the truth, you got to know the truth not in your belly. I don't care what the world do. I don't care what the fashion do. I don't care what society do. You got to know the truth. Read. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Have your heart right. The breastplate, it covers your heart. And you don't want to get evil stuff in your heart. Because when you get evil in your heart, you can't even hear the word of God. Because you ain't focusing on the word of God. You still turning over that evil that's in your heart. So you got to guard your heart. And your feet sharp with the preparation of the gospel. You got to have your feet sharp with the preparation of the gospel. That's some places you don't need to go no more. That's the place your feet don't need to go no more. It's going to be that long. I won't let you fill in the blanks. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Y'all sound like folk on Thanksgiving. Ain't nobody saying nothing to eat. Read. Above all. Above all. Taking the shield of faith. See, you, you got to have faith. And I'm going to get in trouble. You don't just need, oh, well, I got faith in God. That ain't what I'm talking about. I got faith in what the Lord said. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the faith of God. What you mean? When you get filled with the Holy Ghost, inside the Holy Ghost is the fruit of the Spirit. One of the fruits of the Spirit is faith. Your faith may have got you to Jesus, but it's going to take the faith of Jesus for you to stay in Jesus. Because your faith won't stand when the trial comes. Your faith won't be able to take it when folks talk about you misuse you. Because you're not living on their word, you're living on the word. Uh, the Bible says that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Somebody tell God that. Come on and read this thing. I got to quit. All the fierce darts of the wicked. The strategies of the devil, all the stuff the devil throw at you. Your faith is in. So you ain't gonna make it. You're alive. You're gonna go broke. My, my father only count on dying in here. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You gonna get sick and that. By his stripes, I'm here. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, tell God thank you. Because I'm wishing them all. What does it say? And be in good health as your soul prospers. That's what the Bible says. And when the devil say you're not going to make it, you got to say, Phew, I can do all that. Do grace that strengthens me. So
bless you. Hey. Come on and tell him thank you. I don't care if they lay it off. I don't care about the economy. I'm going to look to God to be my Savior. The Lord is my shepherd. And I don't want anything. That's what my little granddaughter said. Come on and tell God thank you. Verse 17, what did it say, Mother? I got to, I got to wrap this up here. And take the helmet of salvation. Yes. And the sword of the spirit. So you need the helmet of salvation so you can protect your mind. Because the enemy talk crazy to your head. But if you ain't got the word of God in your head, you won't have your own thoughts in your head. You have the devil in your head. Because he talk crazy to you. Well, I'm saying that you think that that'll stop him from talking crazy to you. But Reverend, I'm saying, when he told Jesus, jump off the pillar. Talk that to Jesus, jump off the pillar. And then quote the scripture. See, when the scripture says his angels should have charge concerning thee and not let your feet dance against your rock, jump off and kill yourself. He'll talk crazy to you. Thank you, Jesus. Then, then he, finally, he finally let it out. Fall down and worship me. That's all he wants is your attention. But you say, be what you give attention to. Come on, tell God, thank you. What you give attention to, you worship it. Don't you realize your worry is your worship? Oh, you hear what I just said? Your worry is a form of your worship. Because when you worry, the devil is saying, worship at me. But when you turn to God and say, I ain't stunting the devil. My mother used to say, stunting. Y'all don't know about that. She said, I ain't stunting. That's old school right there. She said, I ain't stunting the devil. You got to tell her, I ain't stunting you. Somebody say God. 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 I just like saying God. Woo. I got to close it Thank, Thank you, Jesus. What am I preaching about? Unto you. That have I given unto you. As I said unto Moses. I said unto Moses. 